Alright, welcome to the video to this video in engineering dynamics and in this video we'll be doing another uh, another problem on the um, kinetics force and acceleration methods so this problem is taken from this book uh, this is from Bedford and uh, Flower so engineering mechanics third edition statics and dynamics right so let's try to so it's just hard here. But this is it. Uh, an example 14.1. Alright, so I think I'll just do it this way. Okay, so the simple problem is the airplane touches down on the aircraft carrier with a horizontal velocity of 50 meters per second relative to the carrier. So uh, it's actually, you know, the, the one. Um, the one you see in the, let's say, um, I think the battleships, and then, you know, there's a battleship, and then there's also aircraft carriers. So, this is it, the scenario is, this is it. So, the aircraft carriers basically, um, ship that carries uh, a lot of aircrafts in it. And you know it's um it's like it's like an airport. Uh, there's a runway, but then the runway, since um they have a limited space, then in order for the um, descending aircraft to stop, then uh, it needs to have uh, something you know some force to help them. Uh, stop on some distance or in just a short distance so what they have is the arresting gear what they call arresting gear so it's like this so when this job plane descends or lands then it's actually there's a hook here so there is a hook right so this hook will try to touch down this uh, this rope here, maybe a steel a steel cable, something like that. So um, once it touches this down, then uh, it acts like something like um, uh, ar yeah, arresting gear. It arrests and uh, it. It enables this plane to just stop in a short distance. So the problem says that um, the airplane touches down the aircraft carrier with a horizontal velocity of 50 meters per second relative to the carrier, and then the arresting gear exerts a horizontal force of magnitude, okay, t sub x, 10,000 velocity. So the the tension tension force is directly proportional to the velocity of the plane so the faster the velocity the higher the, um, the tension force right so uh, these tension force is in newton where v is in meters per second and then we are also given that the plane's mass is 6500 kilograms so we are asked to find a what is the maximum horizontal force does the arresting gear exert on the plane um of course as i have said that the higher the velocity the higher the force so we're just asked to find the maximum uh maximum horizontal force of course if it stops so from this point until to the stopping distance the velocity here is zero so I, basically this is just the maximum uh, maximum velocity the moment it uh, touches down the aircraft carrier so we're, we're given with them 50 meters per second so we just multiply that 50 times 10,000 and then that's it uh, it's just a force and then 
and x for b where s to find if other horizontal force can be neglected what distance does the plane travel before coming to rest all right so let's set up uh, Okay, so let's draw the free body diagram. Oops, I think I'll use this one. All right, we'll add some measles here. So here. Okay, so that's the plane, and we have this uh, landing platform, and then let's say this is the uh, the wheels, and then this is the arresting gear that we have. Okay, right, so. Let's try to draw the free body diagram. So we have this force over here. Yes, uh, we're given a force here, which is dx is equal to 10,000 V. And then we also have, let's say, somewhere, I don't know, uh, we have a weight here from the center of gravity. Um, we are given 6,500, so weight is equal to mass times the gravitation constant. And then also we have this um, normal force here acting upward. Of course, uh, this is just a representation of the total normal, normal force from the wheels and all that. So it's just a representation. Alright, so what else? I think we're good to go. So solving for the max force. So we have dx equal to 10,000 times the velocity. Um, Alright, I think. Um, Alright, so we're setting up the equation. All right, so let's uh, set up the equation. Uh, I, now I know where I got it wrong. Um, we have the summation of forces, the x equal to mass acceleration on the x-axis. So what's this? Uh, we have 10,000 velocity is equal to m v d v over d s <coughs> right <clears throat> so this is our governing equation as you take note we didn't substitute the the force here you know, i mean the velocity to obtain the maximum force <clears throat> so this is a um, differential equation, so let's substitute the value of mass, and then if you notice, this is a constant, this is a constant, uh, we have a first order, and then uh, the dependent variable of v, and then this one is s, so actually we can we can separate it as a separable equation, right, so s or ds is equal to m v d v over 10,000 v right so what's m it's 6,500 divided by 10,000 right 6,500 divided by 10,000 is 0 0.65 dv right so we have this v here it's kind of cancels out then ds all right so let's try if i got it right let's go to s and then this one is from 50 to 0 all right so s 0 0.65 times 0 
minus 50. All right, let's, uh, let's see. So 0.65 times 50. Right, 32.5. All right, you got it now. Except that there's a negative. Why is there a negative sign here? But this is it with the boop. Um, the answer for the boop. So 32.5. So. So, uh, we'll see. Alright, so, this thing here is a negative. The acceleration is a negative one. It must be, I think, negative over here. Because the, all the acceleration thing is negative. So, if you multiply this with negative, 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 so it's just positive here. Alright. So that's all, see you in the next video.